A ray of light is incident at an angle of 60 degree. So this is 60 degree here. On one face of a prism with a prism angle 60 degree. So this is also 60 degree. The ray passes symmetrically through the prism. So it is passing symmetrically through the prism. What is the meaning of symmetrically? Symmetrically means it's going to be parallel to BC and I is going to be equal to E. Find the angle of the minimum deviation delta M and the refractive index of the material of the prism. So you see if this is 60 degree, this also becomes 60 degree. This also entire thing becomes 60 degree. And for the angle of minimum deviation, okay, for angle of minimum deviation, I should be equal to E, which is 60 degree in this case. That is first thing. Second thing is that I plus E is equal to deviation plus A. So therefore, we can clearly find I is equal to E, that is 120 degree minus E, A, sorry, that is 60 degree. So therefore, delta minimum becomes 60 degree. Okay. So find the angle of diminution, that is 60 degree. And the refractive index. Take it. So now, uh, since this is 60 degree, delta M is 60 degree. Okay. So, uh, and A is, A is 60 degree. So therefore, we can see here. It, since it is 60 this has to be 120 degree as this is normal and this is also normal okay this is 120 degree now r1 should be equal to r2 this should be equal to 30 degree because in triangle q and r na, q and r agar dekhiye dhyan se to ye agar 60 hai ye 90 hai ye 90 hai kyunki ye to normal hai na so, in the AQNR quadrilateral, in the AQNR quadrilateral, it should be 360 degrees. So, 60, 90, 90, so this is 120 degrees. Now, if it is 120 degrees, then if you look at the QNR triangle, R1 should be equal to R2, should be equal to 30 degrees. So, now we have the simple equation that uh, in a sine 60 degrees, okay. So 1 into sine 60 degree should be equal to mu into sine 30 degree. ठीक है कहाँ पे क्योंकि यहाँ पे refraction हुआ सबसे पहले. So root 3 by 2 should be equal to mu into 1 by 2. So therefore mu becomes root 3. Okay. So the refractive index the material of the prism is going to be root 3. Now if the prism is immersed in water, तो जब prism is immersed in water, so here now what happens is it is water okay um, for angle of minimum deviation it's again going to be symmetrical only so r1 should be equal to r2 and this is uh, 60 degree so this is 120 degree so this should be again 30 degree only r1 and r2 both are 30 degree okay um, but now it is immersed in water so therefore water ka uh, refractive index is uh, like uh, 4 by 3 no? 4 by 3 or 1.5 so basically uh, if it is immersed in water or if it is immersed in anything then we take mu le okay just a minute take mu le lete refractive index of water is 4 by 3 glass ka hota hai uh, you know, uh, 4 by 3 or glass ka hota hai 1.5 okay so mu liye, to mu 4 by 3 into sine of i should be equal to root 3 into sine of r and r is 30 degree so therefore 4 by 3 sine i is equal to root 3 into 1 by 2 so if you dhyan se ye i this i becomes less than 60 degree so therefore uh, like i plus e is equal to delta m plus a a is degree hai. and i and e they are equal in case of minimum deviation so now since i has decreased so therefore delta m is also going to decrease so if the prism is immersed in water how will delta m be affected so uh, this angle of minimum deviation is going to decrease.